Ever since the most recent update of Pet Simulator 99, players have had a lot of questions. Like how deep does the mine actually go? Where are the pools of magic? Where's the bucket? And as well as where is this rocket going to? But the main question that's been on my mind is two things. One, how can you automate fishing in Pet Sim 99 with the new minigame updates to where it's completely AFK? And what are the new chances for the huge Poseidon Corgi? Because we know that the fishing game has changed completely, but also we know that the chances for the huge Poseidon and Korg and huge fossil dragon have been increased. And today I'm going to go over everything. I'm going to tell you the differences between the standard fishing area and the advanced fishing area, and what are the chances of the huge Poseidon Corgi in both of them. But on top of that, I'm also going to teach you guys how you can fully AFK. That's right, fully AFK the fishing area in Pet Simulator 99. And if you don't believe me, just take a look at this. This right here is my alt account. It's been fishing here with the max rod for a little over a day and a half now. It's currently on my laptop. It's around 181 million total fish tokens. So it has been AFKing here the whole time. There is a way to do this. It's not cheating it is just simply a macro and i'll teach you guys today how to set it up completely from start to finish but before we do that let's get into the new chances of the huge poseidon corgi i think it's only fitting that we go to the standard fishing area when talking about the standard chances for the huge poseidon corgi it's not very clear on what the chances are for every single rod in the game the only two that we can really go off of is what's deemed as a basic fishing pole and a legendary one now this could just be the legendary gold fishing rod or it could also be the best fishing rod you get, which is the purple one, which is a divine tier. So we don't know if the chances are better past that point. This is all the information we have to work with. A quick shout out to at Adobe Animator for actually digging up this information from the files. We appreciate you because it really helped out free to play players a lot. Without any further delay, the current chances for the huge Poseidon Corgi in the standard fishing area with a basic fishing rod are 1 in 15 million. I mean, you have to catch 15 million fish in order to reach the full odds of potentially getting the huge Poseidon Corgi. Now, if you have a legendary fishing pole like the gold rod or something even higher, it could be better. It is one in 1.5 million. Now that's a significant increase, but those aren't even the best chances. The best chance is by far in the advanced fishing area. The chances for the huge Poseidon Corgi in the advanced area with a basic rod is one in 7.5 million. Now that's a significant increase from the first one of 1 in 15 million so that's a huge upgrade but anything above a legendary rod it seems the chances are 1 in 750 thousand that's right when you go fishing here you have a one in seven hundred fifty thousand chance to get yourself the huge poseidon corgi that is like insanely low in terms of just overall huges in the game the only other huge pets that you have a better chance of getting are the ones that you get from an exclusive egg. Now they've made these changes to the fishing game because the other fishing game was honestly a really big pain. It wasn't enjoyable to play, it was very tedious, and it's something that a lot of people were already creating macros for. But when it came down to it, it just was super unreliable. But now that they've made the game easier and they even specify, and they even specify in the big games blog update, it is now way more simple. Cast your rod, wait for it to bob, tap to pull out the loop. This should be more relaxing and idle friendly, meaning I'm assuming they're aware that people are going to set up macros for this and be able to do this completely AFK like I am doing right now. On top of this, having a chance for the huge, it actually does make a pretty decent amount of gems. My alt account has 126,000 gems and I just transferred the 1.5 million that it got from doing it overnight. It also gets you a decent amount of the magic shards as well. So that's a huge plus. But now I'm going to teach you guys how to actually implement this macro and anyone on a PC or Mac should be able to do this. So just be sure that you guys are following along very carefully with every step it is a little particular of how to set this up. I would like to give a special shout out to the person who originally wrote this macro, which is Kill Yo Boy. He's developed the first few fishing macros, but this one has been super simplistic. So again, shout out Kill Yo Boy. I'm going to link both Adobe Animator and Kill Yo Boy's channel and Twitter right down in the description below if you want to go give them a follow. Now, the first thing that you guys are going to need is a thing called Auto Hotkey. This is something that I've used for a long time. I actually used it in Stardew Valley for a while to do an animation cancel that was super complex to do without the macro but with the macro it made it as easy as a singular button to use so what you're going to want to do is go find auto hotkey yes this is safe so feel free to download it once you have it installed you're going to have to right click on your desktop and hit new and you're going to want to create a new auto hotkey script so we're just going to name this afk fishing macro now if you double click this it's just going to run the actual macro but if you right click this and you hit open with notepad you should get something like this 
this, which says no envelope recommend for performance, etc. This is the default thing that will actually show up in your macros. I'm going to have down below a link to the paste bin. I'm going to have down below in the comments, a link to the paste bin where you guys can just copy and paste this. But even after copy and pasting, it still needs a little bit of tweaking. This is not a one size fit all macro you do have to change it to your specific setup. Depending on your monitor's resolution or how big the game window is, you do need to cater it to this macro. So we're gonna go ahead and take this right here. We're gonna take the macro that's from the link down below. We're gonna paste it into this notepad and we're gonna just hit save. Now in theory, that seems like everything you need to do. But the main thing that we need to change are these four parameters right here. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can actually change these and know what pixel you're aiming for on the screen. Again, these are set up for me, so I am going to change these a little bit just so that way you guys can see where the altercations come into play in terms of like how crucial this actually is. So I'm just going to randomly change these. Again, do not do this part. This is just for me to showcase the changes that you guys could be doing in order to run this script. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to save and we're going to minimize that. And if you haven't already, double Double click this macro just to start it up. I already have it up and running. It's right here and this little window is going to pop up. Now what I need you guys to do is right click it and I'm going to need you to hit this thing called Window Spy. Window Spy is this very helpful tool that actually tells you where your crosshair is located on your desktop. So it tells you the exact pixel range from high to low. It's very nice and incredibly helpful. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up our Roblox and we're going to get into the fishing mechanic. So we're going to wait for it to bob and we're going to just have this bar pop up. And this is very crucial because you need this step. What I want you guys to do is take your cursor. I want you to hold the cursor at the very top of this bar, right at the top of the curve. And I need you to hold shift and left click once. Keep holding shift. Do not let go. Because what you need to do is while you're holding shift, bring your mouse over. And in this mouse position screen, I need you to just highlight anything here. The moment that you highlight or click this field, you can now let go of shift and where you clicked is now permanently recorded in this window section. This parameter right here is what you need. The 1497 by 233, that's my location for where my bar is. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy that. We're gonna go back to the fishing macro. What we're gonna do here is we're going to replace the first parameter. That's right, the first parameter. So we're gonna make sure we highlight the first two and we're gonna replace it. So after you copy the window location and paste it here, make sure you paste it here. And again, be careful on not adding a fifth parameter to this location. Because if you add a fifth parameter, it could make it bug out and not work as effectively or as quick. Now for the second thing that we need to do, we are going to do the same exact thing that we did prior. We're going to make sure that we're, oh wow, I just got the magic chart charm. Let's go. But what we're going to do next is we need to get the bottom location. So how we were at the top, we're going to do the same thing at the very, very bottom. Right at the bottom of the curve, we're going to hold shift, left click, and see our window location and copy that right here. So boom, there we go. For me, it's 1497, 836 is what I'm working with. And then we're going to go into this file and we're going to just replace these two parameters with that same thing. With that being said, you guys should be good to go and you guys should be all done with the script. And what I'm going to show you guys is that it's tested, it works, and this is a very viable way. What we're going to do is this. We're going to save this. We're going to close out the macro. We're going to actually close this out. What we're going to do is make sure that we're running the macro correctly. I'm going to catch this fish real quick, just so that way we can restart from step one. What we're going to do, we're going to left click the AFK macro. It is currently up. I see that it's running. It says AFK fishing macro. I'm going to run this full screen and the key that you need to hit to start it, the start and stop button is your F1 key. And if you don't have F1 keys on your keyboard with the 60%, it's function one. So I'm going to hit function one. And there we go. Function one, cast the bobber. And as you see here, the bar pops up and it takes a little bit of time to get that first note up. But the moment that it starts going, it goes all the way to the top. Some catches are harder than others and some delay is caused by the server. I have been noticing a lot of server lag recently as I've been just playing the game, and I think everyone has unanimously. So if it's not super quick, don't sweat it too much because it goes pretty fast. But again, each cast is not the same amount of clicks to actually catch it. It's super varying. Some of them take eight clicks, some of them take like 25. It's pretty crazy. We're already three catches in, and we've already made pretty much like what 20k of the fishing currency i don't have the best rod on this account but i do on the alt account because i mean it's amazing and i may have to invest in a diamond rod at a certain point because if i'm able to afk 24 7 like this i think it may absolutely be worth it now i will say don't sweat if it doesn't catch anything like right there because it's set to a timer to assume that the first bob has already happened so just let it sit so if you're on an alt account don't worry about it if the first bob happens it will catch the fish just like so 
but if it doesn't bob within this time frame it will just repeat the loop and it will just be losing maybe five ten seconds tops and then you hit f1 just to stop the macro that's how you completely afk fish in the new area and honestly it's a pretty fast way to be able to get yourself upgrades the amethyst fishing rod obviously being the best one at 2.25 mil but here's hoping that maybe i do actually end up catching the huge Poseidon corgi because i would absolutely love that pet i mean it's so cute but anyways guys i hope you guys found this video help be sure to like and subscribe and go check out the people who helped make this video possible adobe animator for the chances and kill your boy for the actual macro itself thank you so much for developing it i'm sure it's going to help a lot of people be able to play the game and maybe play the mini games that they would not have been interested in otherwise be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and i'll keep you guys updated if i find any way to macro or afk mine the dig site area have a good one everybody and i'll see you guys next time later